I want to talk a little bit about uh, purpose-inspired growth. Over a year ago now, when we were working on uh, developing a new strategy for our company, and I was going to become CEO, we worked as a leadership team to work on a succession plan that we called continuity with change. How do we take advantage of everything that was going right with the company? My predecessor, A.G. Laffley, did a terrific job. Over his nine years, he doubled the size of the company. He quintupled, quintupled the size of our profits. He delivered more cash back to shareholders uh, than, than, uh, than we made in profit. Uh, but So we wanted to keep some of the things going, but we also wanted to do something that was different. We wanted to lead change where we needed to in order to be more successful in the future. So we came up with this idea of purpose-inspired growth, and I'm going to try to explain that to you this afternoon. What we mean by purpose-inspired growth is if we look over our 172-year history as a company, it's our purpose that has been the most foundational in everything that we've done. Over that 172 years, 25% of the time, we've been in an economic recession. We've been in world wars. Uh, I served as the general manager of our operation in the Philippines in 1991, 1995. In 1941, when the Japanese uh, inva invaded the Philippines, our plants were turned into munitions plants, and many of our people were interned for the duration of the war. So we know how to operate in a difficult environment and succeed. And one of the critical things to that is focusing on our purpose. Our purpose is to touch and improve the lives of the world's consumers. Now that may seem like a collection of words, but for us it's really something more. It's part of our DNA. It goes back to Mr. Proctor, Mr. Gamble, uh, the two gentlemen who started the company. They met sisters in Cincinnati, Ohio, and it was those sisters' father that suggested they get together. One of them made soap, one of them made candles. The byproducts of the two operations are complementary, and, uh, and that's what formed the company. And over those 172 years now, the purpose has become pervasive in everything that we do, whether it's pervasive in our brands, brands like Pantene, Tide, Pampers, whether it's pervasive in our philanthropic efforts, like we have a program called Live, Learn, and Thrive, which I'll talk more about in a minute, or Children's Safe Drinking Water, or, importantly, whether it might be the individual purpose of the people who work for the company. You know, I, when I was young, I was a, a Boy Scout, and uh, the Boy Scout model is to help other people at all times. That was important to me. When I was young, as uh, Taylor said, I went to West Point. I went to West Point because I wanted to be an officer in the Army. I wanted to help people who may have been living in societies that weren't free. So again, I wanted to help people. When I was coming out of the military and I joined Procter & Gamble in 1980, uh, I was looking for a company that had a purpose that I could believe in, a purpose like touching and improving lives, and people who live that purpose every day. So we think purpose is really important, and we think it's important to have congruence between the purpose of the company you work for, your individual personal purpose, and the purpose that gets followed in the philanthropic efforts that you may be involved in.